with caution. Hey, what's up everyone? Caution here and welcome back to some more Jamie Tech. Uh, as you all may know, the open beta was here and after this day of recording, it is currently Sunday. The, close, the open beta is coming to an end and just like the previous beta, I am here to showcase whatever I could find on online or on my own about Jamie and share it with you guys in an instructional way. Um, let's, I want to talk first, I want to talk about the usage of level 2. Now, you all know what this is about. Level 2, you instantly get 4 drink levels and you get all the options from level 4. But, however, it is also pretty good to extend the damage in certain situations, not only for the drink level, just to get that little bit of extra damage to close out a round. So imagine, let's put it in a scenario here, let's, let's, I'm, I'm gonna make it easy for you guys so you can visually understand where I'm coming from. Um, let's do Wake Up Reversal, Rising Uppercut OD. Is my man on block or not? No block. And imagine he is on, let's put him on 40%. Imagine we only have, um, I'm gonna make it realistic as possible, we're on two drive gate, we're on two um, super gauges here. And we have, uh, we don't even have, let's say we're, we're doing really bad and we got only one drink level out. So let's go for a sweep here for example, we get to sweep the punish counter, he goes for OD. There we go, and he dies from that, 4,193 4, damage just from a level 2 extension. Uh, because you cancel the level 2 from the EX Palm, you actually get the opportunity to go for a raw drive rush into Crouching Fierce after that to extend the combo. So keep in mind, for a situation like that, it is very good. Um, another situation where you could use the level 2 to get some extended damage. Let's put him on 50% for example. Uh, we don't even need the punish counter. We don't need that. Uh, let's say we're on 2 drink levels for this. And you can do something like this. There we go. Almost does 5k. We got 4.6 thousand damage off of that. But more importantly, and this is where I feel like the level 4 could come in handy dandy, is that if you're on level 4, the level 2 super still has some use. Um, let's say if we put ourselves on one drive gauge and we use the level 2, we restore 3 bars instantly. As you can see. So, you would be like, yeah, this is kind of weird. True, but sometimes, if you want to just go for that little bit of extra damage, you can get another drive rush cancel, which would mean that you would get two drive rush cancels and an EX, uh, an OD attack, without going in burnouts. And that almost kills as well, almost does 5k damage. So yeah, keep that in mind that it's pretty good for that. Um, let's test out just to be sure in level 4 if it does more damage like this. Maybe we can kill from that. Yeah, we can. <clears throat> so just keep that in mind, you can actually use it for getting drive gauge back. There are some situations where this would be useful. Um, it, it, just to keep up the pressure, for example, if you want to just keep going, you know, and then you find this option to go into the level 2 and restore it and keep up the pressure, because Drive Gauge is such an important resource in this game. So, yeah, um, you know, obviously I didn't have that much time to, um, to go into it a little bit more, but I'm hoping for you guys it will give you some new ideas to utilize this level too because it's a lot more than just getting four drink levels instantly the next subject on our supers is obviously going to be level three now it's it doesn't have to do so much with the level three it's more about the situations that you can create afterwards so 
we are just going to let the uh, level tree rock. Okay. Yes, very nice. I am not on level tree. <laughs> that makes sense. We're gonna put it on save status so we don't have to input that every single time. So this one is very common. Uh, you can also do... Something like that, for example, is also possible. But what I want to talk about is... Let's put it on Crouching Light Punch. You can actually go for resets that... Um, in this one in particular, is going to give you a side switch. So, um, everything is going to stay the same. You're going to go for Drive Rush into the Tensei Kick to get that launcher. But here is where things get interesting. So, as you can see in this example, after the Tensei Kick, I cancelled... Uh, after the Tensei Kick, I go for a Light Kick, Standing Light Kick, and I cancel that into DR. But here comes the tricky part. So you just saw me cancel the DR from the Standing Light Kick into Crouching Light Punch. That allows us to stay in front and be plus four. So we can actually get a meaty off of that as well. However, here comes the cool part. If I cancel the DR from Standing Light Kick into Standing Light Kick, we end up on the other side. So we can actually choose on what side we want to land and we are on plus one. So that means we can still get a meaty crouching jab out of it. But that is not all. Keep in mind, obviously, this reset only works really well when you're mid-screen. Um, so in the corner, that one does not work. However, there is one that I found on Twitter. I can't remember. I'm going to look it up for you guys real quickly. Who needs to get credit for that as well? Because it was shared on Twitter. So it wasn't my own creation. Rizo. So Rizo is the one that did this reset as well. And I'm going to show you guys how it's done. So when you're in the corner, you don't even need a drink level for this, for example. But let's give ourselves drink level one, because that's usually at least something you're going to get. All right. So, just as you saw, after the Tensei Kick, you go for a Crouching Fierce, you cancel that into DR, and you go for the Overhead. And as you just saw in the example, Luke lands perfectly on the ground when the Overhead comes out, allowing you, regardless, you get a combo from Drive Rush Overhead. But it's a very nasty reset, and I've used it a lot this weekend, and it really helped me out to close it, just to reset that, dam that damage, go for a nasty reset, and you can cancel into DR and even go for a little bit more damage. It is just a really good tool, definitely worth using. So we got two new resets. We got a reset in the corner to reset into overhead. I have also played against someone that knew it was coming, so you can also bait it out. I just did, for example, I did Tensei uh, into that, and I just waited. And he did level 3, so I blocked it. So, you know, there's a ton of options you can do. But now we also have a side switch in mid-screen that can work as well. So keep that in mind for these two options. Alright, finally, the last thing I wanted to talk about. I'm going to include it in here as a bonus. And we're going to talk a little bit more about special moves. Um, a follow-up from the previous video as well. So, you all know that if, like I said before, if you want to go for some max damage and you block an EX, an OD uh, DP, for example, from Luke, you can go for the crumple with the fears, get for another fear, something like that, 
and uh, you know go for some cool combos and max damage however did you also know that i'm gonna throw the opponent a little bit further away if you go for a od palm strike on a punish counter you actually get a wall splat so what that means is you can actually let's say he does od over here we go for the palm strike you can go for some cheeky cheeky damage um, that is definitely worth it so just to give you a big a quick example let's say if we're on level two he goes for an uh, Cut, cut, we block it, we go for that. Go for the arrow quick. Look at that, that's 3k already. Into Bakai, for example. Oh, my bad. We need uh, a DR for that. That is some decent, decent damage for just one DR and an OD Palm Strike. Uh, on level 4, this also has its usages, obviously. Look at that, almost 50% right there, just 4,392 from an OD into DR, which is really good. Keep in mind if you do it too fast, your crouching fears hits very weird and you won't get the cancel. So my advice would just go for a dash and then go for your combo. So yeah, really, really good. Uh, one more thing I wanna add about the EX Palm Strike sometimes you want to spend the bar uh, because od palm strike actually gives you two drink levels so in most situations you get for this you only get one because you have to be you know your opponent can potentially punish you if you go for more drinks but because of the punish because of the ex palm look there and look at the animation from luke they go for a long roll and it, it takes a while before they can recover so I can actually get two save dream levels out of that uh, without being punished. So it's a really good trade spending two drive gauge bars for two drink levels. And that can rack up really, really fast. All right, now on the subject of special moves, we're gonna move on and I want to talk about the Rekka. Now, the Rekka actually is, in my opinion, a lot better than I anticipated. Um, obviously, on block, I, it's it's a rough situation. Like some people cancel this in um, the Rekas because it's minus three. On level four, it actually becomes safe because a regular Rekka is minus six on block, so it is sort of safe on block. However, imagine if my opponent does this, and this is what I have done as well against fellow Jamie players on block one count and we go for where is it drive impact so let's say we want to do crouching medium kick into reka like i just explained so you can see it's it's a true block string so it, it works but in some cases um yeah i there we that's the example i wanted to show you sometimes if you get a little bit too cocky and you are a little bit too far away, there is a gap. So please don't just abuse this. You can do this up close, even from the target combo, for example. If you want to keep the target combo safe, there is a gap. So you will get drive impact, and, and that is something that I will definitely do if I see people abusing this. So please be aware, be aware of that search situation. However, look how much range it covers from the Rekka in level four. It's a pretty good amount of range. So I e sometimes I even use this in the neutral um, out of the blue. And if you get a punish counter, you can actually get another Rekka, which is actually kind of crazy. You can link it from uh, Crouching Light Punch because on punish counter, it is plus five. So you can also get standing light kick, anything like that. And it, so that's really cool. So you can even get uh, the regular like that. You can get the target combo and go into medium punch Rekka. So it's, in my opinion, it becomes a pretty decent tool in neutral as well. 
Um, still be aware if your opponent likes to throw out the DI and drive impact in neutral. Uh, you know, it's always a thing, but that's the case with a lot of buttons. But I feel like it, it can become really good. And it is also very easy to hit confirm. If you just get a regular hit, you, you just have to press one more button and you get to confirm into the follow-up of the Rekka. And if, if your opponent blocks it, you're minus three, so you're safe. And if you get the punish counter, just like I explained, you can go into the target combo and go for a medium punch Rekka. Or if you're on level four, obviously, you can also go for the palm. So actually, it's it's really not too bad. And like I said, just look, look at that. It covers a lot of range, and only the last hit has to be punish counter for able for to be able to it to connect. So I feel like in that regard, the Rekas can also be a very dangerous tool in the neutral. So yeah, just keep that in mind that it could be very handy for that situation as well. And that is the end for this particular video. There's going to be more videos after this. Obviously, I'm going to keep up giving you live matches and more tech videos in the future. So if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe because I want to share this Jamie tech among the entire community if possible. Thank you in advance for helping me out a ton. Hope you guys appreciate this tech. Don't forget, as usual, to stay cautious and I will see you all next time. Take care.